Welcome to another Scattered Groves. I've done several of these drafts. I haven't recorded them though. Uh, so looking at this pack, Swarm Intelligence. Uh, it costs too much for what it could do. Oblix Spider is really good. Put you in two colors though. And Supreme Will is, is a fun card. There's also Lethal Sting. But if I'm going that route, might as well take the Spider. I think the Spider has the most upside. Uh, it is two colors, but... Uh, I'm not locked in on that. Ooh, Deadlands is really good. Um, I do like these walls. It's also Sandblast, but Deadlands is in our colors, and it's a good utility land. Especially there's a bunch of um, worthless deserts. I don't know, like auxiliary deserts. I don't know what to call them. That you can uh, just pick up for added value later. And the cycling deserts are really nice too. But uh, two minus one for counters. It's a sorcery ability, but it's an extra removal spell without taking up a uh, spell slot. It also gives you black mana too, which you can't complain about. And I think it works with the spider. Uh, whatever you, yep, it works with the spider too. Look at that synergy. Minus one minus for counter synergy. Apocalypse Demon, not that good. Burning Fist Minotaur is pretty good though. The first strike is huge. Um, other possible cards: Rune Rat, another Sandblast. It's two Sandblasts so far. Um, Minotaur is probably a little better than this Devastator guy. Also, Traveler's Amulet. I want to go that route. I'm gonna go this uh, Minotaur though. Oh, I didn't realize it puts us in a third color, but that was the best card in the pack. So it can be black red, it can be jund, we can ditch the burning fist minotaur. Still early in the draft, so I can go anywhere. I can go white, even. <laughs> uh, I'm not going white. Uh, I'm gonna go with the sting here over the desert. Uh, the desert's nice, but I like the sting here. Um. All right, now I'll go for the desert. Other possibilities are the rats. It's not going not not desert. I think. Whoa, what second one? Um, over this store's pretty good, also. Second Deadlands, though. Does that do much for me over a two drop? Uh, Refuse to cooperate is not that good. Is another two drop? This guy's a pretty good two drop, though. I'm gonna go with the second desert. Uh, I might be valuing him a little too much. Um, I think it's a good opportunity, though. See how they really work. I think it's some replaceable two drops in there. And I don't even know if I'm green yet. And that black guy with afflict, uh, he's very uh, replaceable. Ooh, jeez. Hmm. There's the green one, which is pretty good. I think I'm going to go with this excavator. It works really well with my Deadlands also. This creature. Eternal. I think I'm ditching the red now. I think I'll go with this Eternal right now. Uh, Prowler seems to fit. It's a good defensive card. Slows you down. Oh no, I wish I had this creature. Another Eternal. Yeah, these guys are easy to get. They're they're nice. It's a good uh, bear with upside. Uh, is it beneath the sands? It's the basic lands. Uh, yeah, and this defeats for sideboard. That guy's playable. Was that a Sandblast? I didn't realize that. I just clicked the card in my color that I could possibly play. 
Uh, the nice thing about the Beneath the Sands is it also cycles. So if you don't need the fixing, you can just cycle it, get a card for one less. Like, who would rather have a land in play or a card? A nice uh, four drop. Me oh no! God, Pharaoh is faithful. Dutiful servants. Very confusing card. With the guy that's a uh, two four for three. A two five for four is not as good as a two four for three. It's better than a. Is it pill? Pillar field ox or something like that. Is that the card. Ah, uh, Fury, terrible. Cory Beardle works with our plan. The only card in our pack. Another scavengers. And here's one of the random deserts that I don't want. Uh, I guess Cory Beetle? I'm very I'm excited about that card. It was a fine body and gives some value with these deadlands. Another one of these stupid things. The Sphinx is pretty good. So a sharpshooter or another cycling land. I think we'll go with the first sharpshooter, the second cycling land. These guys are just value. Reach invigilance. Even though Quarry Beetle has better stats, the vigilance is, is key there. Ah, this pack. <laughs> it's gonna sound weird, but I think what this fiber's encampment here for the uh, desert value. Also, a Traveler's Amulet, which doesn't do much for me. This wall is not very awesome. I'm not a huge frilled Sandwalla fan. Crook Condemnation. That doesn't draw you a card at all. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go for this Fire Encampment. Another Sharpshooter. Is it no. Ooh, yeah, I'll take the wall here. Those guys are. That's our beast. More of the walls, the better. <laughs> uh, yep, I'll take another desert. The camel will be fine, uh, but I'd rather have it in the desert, especially with my uh, run em up excavator. R run em up, R run that guy. Crucible world snake. Crucible snake. Now I got cleric. It's not even a snake. Ooh. Another wall. Take that over reason to believe. Get all my value out of these. Cory beetle. Excavator. These walls. All this desert. And obelisk spider. Oh man. Another wall. Sure. Over gift of strength. Look at the walls. All the wall power. Uh let's see the rats or scavenging grounds. Oh, cars from all graveyards. I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh guess the rats? Do I, want I don't think I want scavenging grounds. Another eternal guy. Don't what I play another one? We're at second survivor encampment. Uh, I'm gonna take it. I probably won't play it though. I'll take this card. I can search up one of my combo pieces or cycle it. Yeah, it's crook in this, the sideboard. Uh, yep, yeah, not playing any of those. I 
Totally not playing that guy. Ooh. Foil without weakness. It's playable. Wish I gave power too, but it cycles, which is not bad. Probably won't play it, but uh, I could. I could play it. Two, three, and five drops is all I have. Uh, champion does not seem too exciting in my deck. Hood Brawler or Trial of Strength? If I get any more Trials, Trial of Strength would be awesome. Don't really have too many big things to throw in with this guy. I'm going to take the Trial of Strength here and see if I can get a uh, Cartouche. <clears throat> so, Ruthless Sniper. I only have like three things to cycle with it. So I'll take a Hood Brawler, and I wouldn't mind a Painted Bluffs the other end. Alright, here's a good reward for me, finally. And Wandering Death is pretty good, hopefully that wheels. I'll take Spidey Grasp too, or Wasteland Scorpion would be nice too. Manglehorn, a Dustadon, Nehab, the Worthy, jeez. Do these guys jackals? Hmm. Maybe I'll, I'll I'll splash this guy. Maybe if I can. So uh, kudu. Over this mummy guy. It's an antelope. Jackal warrior. No, I want that. Could play that guy though. Oh, that's the wrong cartouche. It's a minotaur, though. It's hard to block. Giant spider. Hmm. Yeah, I want the giant spider. <laughs> my first four drop. I was going to play no four drops in this deck. Uh, what am I looking like? This minotaur is not good on the splash. Yeah, it might be good on the splash though. I do have Beneath the Sands and a Spider's Encampment. He's not without weakness. So that looks pretty decent right there for right now. This is possible to take out. This Cory Beetle, maybe too. If I can get something better. Also, with the Eternals, if I don't play Nehab, I'll probably I could take one of the Eternals out. There's a, another Cartouche I can't play. Take this card. The sideboard against red decks, I think. I don't exile. I guess the green decks, too. Zier of Remedies. Don't think I'm playing it, but it's a neat card. Uh, not playing any of these. The miniature, though. Ooh, Wandering Death. Could play that. Could just play 16 land with this deck, also. It's possible because this is a one drop in a way. Take this Scourge of Souls out, too. Yeah, I think I'll take that guy out. 17 land. Very aggro with walls. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay. Add my basic lands. None of these, sir. Uh, definitely want that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this can be either one. All right, that, that could be good. All right, well, that's the deck. See you in round one. Welcome to round one. I will be on the play. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that. This looks decent. It's got some two drops, it's got some three drops, and some value cards. Unfortunately, this is not the desert I w would like to have as a, uh, what's it called? My uh, only desert. But I'm not a cycling desert in here. I'm gonna sack desert. He's going super slow. So I'm just gonna play this guy. Pass the turn. I'm gonna play this guy next turn over this guy. I can also play another Feral Prowler. Attack. Ooh. Inspirer's Encampment. Um, I don't think there's anything that punishes me for playing this guy right now. There's some various removal spells in black white that can take out a two drop easier. I'm not too worried though. Tap this guy down. It doesn't really matter which one he taps down. The wall. Yeah. Seeing if I have sixth. Alright, see if you test my guy down. Most likely. Nope. Yep. Okay. Not auto yield to that. Um, I guess I'll just play this guy. It's a creature with more power than my cat. My defensive deck can have some aggro stuff later. If I get my one desert going, that'd be nice. To put some mice and mice encounters on things, I get deserts back. Oh, the value. Can you think of the value with that? Think of the value. Think of the kids. And I'm pinging him slowly to death. Oh man. Chose the wrong day to be a value deck. Depends what you do. I might not tackle this guy. Right, there are untapped abilities here that I could probably get punished for. But I think of all the guys, I'm fine with. That guy dying. If he wants to spend a card on it. Um, is there a reason to? A reason to cast this card? I don't think. Ooh, Wandering Death. So I can get some value out of my guys if he tries to kill multiples off. As long as he doesn't exile them, of course. Okay. Watch this value. Watch this value. 
Boom. <laughs> Got my value out of him. I am winning now. Oh, man. It's like drawing a card. It's like drawing a card. I'm tapped out of black, though. But that's not the point. Mm, no reason to attack into his guy. He wants to sit back and play the waiting game. Stinging Scorcher. You got it. No profitable attacks for him still. I got my value online. Value is online. I guess I could have sacked that thing, but. Just in case. You had a graveyard thing. I guess there's things in the graveyard. I'd have that one gone and the other ones. You get your points of damage in. <laughs> oh, camel. He's getting his tactics back. I like his tactics there. This guy. Sack this again. I can't attack. I can trade off that guy. Not too upset with that. Yeah. I can get him back with Wandering Death if he wants to trade that way. Sure. Still get my value out of him. It's only two counters. Land. I know he has the uh, one card in hand. He can get that guy back. Yeah. Unconventional tactics. This guy's zombies. They're getting there. They are getting there. I'm just going to keep doing this. Keep getting some value. He's going to keep playing his guys to get his flying thing back. Then, um, he's going to eventually run out of guys. I can find a reward also. Okay. Too many plays here. Um, 
because he keeps playing the conventional tactics thing. Unconventional. So now I gotta hold up final reward. Just gets back that guy, yep. Gets back his tactics. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I gotta hold up five, so I can't do anything. You gotta wait for whatever guy he tries the tactics. Do it to that guy. It also gives me an extra land drop in play for next turn. Hopefully, doesn't do it on him. I'm fine if he makes a discard a card, discard a land there. Oh, good. Are you out of zombies? I would like to draw a card. As long as there's not any flash creatures, it should be fine for a turn. It's possible to have. There's one flash creature. I'd, ah, look at that. Um. Oh yeah, I can just discard a card. <laughs> it's like, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I. I can just discard a card, that's fine. My wall's gone though. I can get it back. I can get it back though. With Wandering Death. Get my wall back, get my Minotaur back. Oh man. Not a zombie. But he. This guy and this guy. So I can't give him a zombie, so I can't kill this guy. I can't attack into that guy and let him die. Well, I guess I can. No, I guess I got done that. Yeah. I guess I could have done that. As long as I keep him out of creatures that can attack me when he has tactics out. But I should have done that. Yeah, I should have attacked into that. Because now he just wins. Pretty sure. Yeah, so yeah, I should have killed that guy. I wasn't thinking. Wasn't thinking. Should have killed it. All right. Well, unconventional tactics is dumb. Not a big fan of that card. Is he playing green? No, black, white. Um, don't really need feral prowler then. Blocks, but doesn't do that much. All right, let's try that. Put the crook in. You got a bunch of guys that come back. I can put the grave and abomination in too. Uh, 
had my thing, and I punted it. Punted that game. Should have killed his guy. I wasn't thinking. I was thinking he'd get a zombie back. I guess he could have got a zombie back, made another creature, and still be messed up in the following turn as long as he had a zombie creature. But... Um, it's got a two and a three drop, so I'll keep this. Yeah, it's got my one mountain, obviously. Obviously. It's got lethal sting. Uh, a lot more black sources, not too worried. Play this guy first. Um, get some damage in. I don't have a desert yet, so the wall doesn't do much. Uh, I could play this guy out and then put a counter from him on it, but I'm just going to do this, put a counter on this guy. Uh, it might be bad, but might be good. A uh, 3 4 is better than A. Let's move Scar from the graveyard. Okay, I'm fine with that. Uh, don't really have a reason to kill that guy. He is a zombie jackal. Should I kill that guy? Hmm, yep, definitely gonna kill that guy now. <laughs> I was like, should I kill that guy? Yes, I should definitely kill it. Uh, choose target creature to kill. Pay this. Put it on him. Get in with this guy. Wish I had my spider, that'd be awesome. I can cycle this now. I don't know if that's good or not. Depends on my plays, I might cycle it this turn. See what I can get some better action going. Nice two for one, kind of. He's got a warrior token behind, but I'm not too worried about that guy. Not too worry worried about that guy. Oh no, grind. Sure. And dust cost four. I'll take one. Is it exile him? Ooh, that's pretty good. Should have cycled that. Some top deck there. Good cycle. Good cycle. Wow. Instantly rewarded. Exile this, please. And I keep playing my lands out. Why not? Cycle. Yep. Now, that was. This card might be good against his deck. I have nothing else I can do. I guess I can sack this if I really need to. Nope. 
if you would like to trade a spell for a negative one three wall, I'm more than happy to oblige you. Okay. I'm going to cycle that. Turns on my wall also. Ah. Um, I'm not going to play that. That will pass though. Yep. There's no reason not to attack. Okay. Now I get it. Oh, I guess I was holding up anything that could be, uh, what's it called? Combat tricks? Ooh, mid to five mana finally. I have been flooding out over here, unfortunately. Now you want to attack? No, what's he got? Final reward. Sure. Uh, block you and you. Ooh, that's pretty good. That was a good pickup. What else you got? Keep attacking, huh? All right. Um. Oh, well, he's got a trick of some type. So let's see what he's got. He can have two tricks. I guess he could have two tricks. Uh, all right. Get rid of that guy. Another swamp. Awesome. Definitely can make it here now. We just need more lands. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lands I've drawn. Ten lands. I have seven left in my deck. Get another one. The wall will be fine. I'll be happy with that. Bear is not good for me. <laughs> well, there's the wall I requested. Doesn't work well with these guys out, but. Don't think I can make it. He can pump this guy twice, which basically kills me. Yep. Yep. Unfortunately. It's a terrible card to have against me. Four, five, six. 
don't have much to get me out of this. Need a removal spell. Uh, does that do anything for me? If I can search for uh, a three drop, that just dies. Don't have an amp scale that wouldn't help me anyway. Hmm. Block four five. So I need, I need another blocker. One, two, three, four. No matter what. The cycle. Perfect. That's what I wanted. Uh, deck. Oh my god. Talk about flooding out. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Alright, you got me. Gotta land. All right. Well, that was round one. See you guys in round two. Back for round two. Just very salty round one. That's okay. We'll come back and do well on this one. This is a good hand. I approve of this hand. I will keep. Got my combo pieces. Kind of. Maybe. combo piece with my spider. It's coming down next turn. Next turn spider? Oh man. Next turn spider. Oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh. Two colors are you. And turn. Okay. Did not counter it. Might be, uh, White red? Red blue is a little less common, I think, than white red in terms of what people like to draft and do well with. Of course, he could be 0 1 also, just like me, so. Yeah, white red. That was correct. Ooh, look at those monuments. I like it. Oh, drain you for one, also. Boom. Get in there. Get in there. Well, we need a couple more black sources for that. Of course, was it the first game? I only had the first, uh, first match, first game. I only had the other deserts for black sources. That guy's annoying. But I can deal with it. Go, go, spider action. Go, go, Jekyll Archer. Jekyll Archer. Ah, Jekyll Archer. Ah. Go, go, Jekyll Archer. I wish you could rearrange your creatures on the board. But alas, you cannot yet. That's going to be in the next 
client of MTGO. Ooh, let's see what you're doing. Hold on, hold on. You attacking? Ooh, you deserve it. I am not blocking, sorry. Just keep my spider back, that'll block him. If you want to that way. <laughs> uh oh, what's he got? Let's go attack this guy. Just this guy. Nothing? Okay. Beneath the suns. I will get a swamp. Um, should I cycle this? What do I want? I guess I'll hold on for it right now. I don't think I want anything. So I'll hold off. He could have the untap guy and block thing, which would be not value with that. But now I have a uh, depository for my... Uh, Match minus one counters. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. Play that. I'll play this, and I will pass. And keep in mind, he can ping something. Also, I'm at 17, so I'm not too worried about the pings on my creatures because you have to exert it. But is this the value desert? Yes. So you might have a desert sacker as his own. The red one's okay. The white one would be a lot better for his deck. Mine is on line next turn. That's what I think I should search for my guy that uh, gets cards back from the graveyard. Ceradon. Seems good. Helpful. Uh, put on this guy, I think. Uh, does it to sack? Doesn't matter which one. I think this one is fine. Yeah. Yep me for one. You got it. I will gain a life and you lose a life though. Boom. Thank you. Still combat damage, right? Yes. Alright, so that removes some combat math issues that he presents. Just tapping that guy, I'll take it. Yep. 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 
costs one less, so that's why he has one floating. Because the monument actually has a second ability besides just pumps out little guys. I would like this guy. It's gonna look weird that I play that guy out, but now this looks like a very scary board. A land, not scary. His, in the catcher's name, that's semi scary, but he's done too much attacking. Could have another land in hand. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Block there. Block there. Uh, block there. Three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, I'm dead. Uh, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Can't do that either. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Can't do that either. Um, four, nine. I guess I can do that. and waste his turn to kill that guy. Oh, well, you can just kill me then. So, he's holding a trick in his hand. Yippee-doo. Yippee-doo-dah. Do I have anything? There's red whites. Doesn't do anything against it. Scourge is fine, I think. Over something else. The rune rat has seen the best against him. Let's try that. Hopefully, I'm not too quiet talking to you guys. I'm trying to get close enough to the mic. Just get really into the games, and I get very tunnel tunnel vision on what's going on. That Ceradon was pretty good for him. Uh, I'll keep this. It's got some two drops. Into some three and four drops. Some early defense. Early attacking. Let me get ahead of the game by attacking him instead of him attacking me. Alright, similar argument before, I don't have a desert out, and he's not, I'm on the play, so I can get my early beats down. I like it, I like it. I'm the aggressor now. If I draw a land, I can play both of these next turn. If I don't, I just play this guy. Probably put the counter on him. But I like to put on my wall, if that's possible. Him cycling last turn is a good sign. He might be stuck on land. 
Well, no, that makes sense. Why do you cycle that, though? He's stuck on land. It's a terrible cycle. Yeah, not stuck on land. Get in for three, at least. I got a nice curve going. Just gotta draw some land. I am willing to trade my Kudo for his Minotaur if you would like and waste his turn. In the tank, deep, deep in the tank. Ooh, that's pretty good. Not what I wanted to draw, another five drop, unfortunately. This could be bad for me, because if he plays a land next turn and eternalizes this guy, I can be a lot of trouble. But if he, well, actually, if you block, he has to double block this guy. So if he does that, I just put all the damage on him. And if he has a double block this guy, again, put all the damage on this guy. He's just got a 1-1 one, one double striker out. Ah! Well, that's bad. So double blocks this guy, I guess. Oh, we can block additional creatures. Ooh. Maybe it's double damage to this guy. He deals second damage to that guy, but does nothing. But then this creature dies, though. So, cat's dying. Minotaur is dying. Wait, what? Oh, you can spread the damage out? Oh, I did not know you could do that. The other way around. Jeez. That's pretty good. I did not know you could spread the damage out when you, when you block, like banding. Huh. Well, that was pretty good, friend. And similar to round one, uh, I'm losing this via mana, mana issues. Round one, I had too much mana. This round, I, I don't have enough. I had the perfect curve going, but I just kind of stalled out at three. Can't beat three threes. I'll just keep playing two drops. Once you get this cat out, though, I, I can't. I don't think I can beat it. 4-4 four, four double striker. Yep. Here comes the cat. Well, we are four minutes up on my opponent. So at least I'm playing at a reasonable pace. So I've got that going for me. I look at the bright side of things. I always look at the bright side. All right, so you might have another combat trick. Uh, I'm willing to accept that risk. I'm fine with that. Play your combat tricks out. Play away. Nothing much I can do. Back is against the wall. Turn the hill giant into a super hill giant with a flick two and fire breathing. Jeez. So much, so much value. Alright, he's not bringing his cat back. 
thankfully. Draw a card too. Yes. Uh, does Giant Spider do anything? Blanks him for a turn. Yeah, I, I, I can't win this game. There's nothing I can do. I'm so far behind. Well, never say never. I can make a comeback somehow. I'm at 18. Could have blocked him, forced him to waste his turn. He won't get the pouncer out. Maybe he forgot about the pouncer. He probably didn't figure it out though. No, here it comes. Bum bum bum. Give me a land. Give me a land. Oh, come on, deck. I only have like four, three, five drops in my deck. Here they are. <sighs> Okay, that's just the regular desert. This will block the, that guy. I'm just amazed how much time he's taken up on his turns. It's not like he has a lot of decision in the deck. It's a red-white deck. You play dies and beat. I don't know. It's not that hard. Oh, no. I can't block for this guy. Oh, man. Come on. Ugh. Oh, no. That's a fine one. <sighs> Get rid of this guy first, unfortunately. But then I can't block... Step one. Step two, die. He has to have nothing but lands in hand and nothing else. Then I have a chance of not dying as quickly. That's the only way. <laughs> so it's, it's not if I lose this game. I'm, I'm definitely losing. It's just how quickly I lose. Oh, I can go point of damage in. I can waste his turn. I don't know why you make the giant spider not block instead. Oh no, they're wasting his turn. He's spending four mana to get rid of my giant spider. Okay, that's a method too. And I can play a four drop. Uh, uh, perfect. I was hoping to get that. Oh my god. Is there anything I can do? This guy, I guess. <sighs> yeah. All right. <laughs> See you in round. All right. Welcome to round three. I am staying positive, and we're going to do better than the first two rounds. I'm going to keep. It looks good. This deck looks really fun. Really good. I'm just not doing well with it. That's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I have consistent mana here. I got 
buttload of two drops. I'm going to have fun. Thank you, Stumpy Two Time. I'm going to have fun. Again, I'll start with the Eternal. This guy has been very mediocre. Uh, the only reason he's in here is because he's a great jackal. Oh no, I thought he was a, a Minotaur. Oh, it's completely different than what I was thinking. Why is he in the deck? I thought he was a Minotaur. Er, well, um. No reason to play that. Uh, I don't think I wanna I think I wanna cycle that. Let's play this guy down. Um yeah, well I guess I should play him now. What was I thinking? Should have played him down. Yeah, blinding mummy, great. Uh I would like a card instead. Ugh, Jesus. Another Jekyll? Play him, play him. So, I can't get in with this guy really. Let's see, taps. I don't know. Depends what he does. He does not do anything. Well, I'll continue to attack. See what happens. Let's see if jackals beat mummies. Uh, okay, he has inner catcher's name. Still get some afflict damage in. No. He has nothing. Wow. That was, that was very bizarre. I did not expect that trade. His creatures were definitely better than mine. Menacer. Not too scared of that. I have nothing in hand. And I have infinite walls. All oh, the walls. I will build a wall around this place. And if he finds a way to get through, I discard a land. <laughs> Not too worried about that. Okay, you got it. I'm going to get some value of sixing in. He'll maybe discard four cards. Or one land. Ooh. I don't know if I want to play that on him. Get it back. He does nothing right now. <sighs> Don't want to waste lethal sting on that guy. Okay. He can get it back as a 4-4, four four, but he's basically dead then. To my forgotten walls. Forgot about the walls. Forgot about the walls. How could they forget about the walls? Aww. He was dead to the walls. 
It's all about the walls. It was green or black white. What's all these black white people? Stamina, weakness, eh. Cook of condition. I'll put that in. Uh, meet the sands, I guess. This is not very exciting. Oh, yeah. I don't have anything else for these guys. I keep thought I thought they were minotaurs. I only have like one minotaur in here. Eh. Eh. Mm, yeah. Hopefully you didn't hear that, I just sneezed really loud. Um, kinda like this guy in here. One of these guys, I guess. I don't know about me, I don't think you should be in the deck, but I'm keeping him in here. I, I'll cast him eventually. Uh, ooh, I like this, I will keep. If I draw a land, then I will cycle this, otherwise I will play that. Ooh, so I'll play one of these. Hmm, <laughs> like that. I'll get this guy down. And F6. He can use his unconventional tactics for this guy if he wants. The card has been a lot better than I originally thought about it. Yeah, it requires a bunch of zombie stuff, but a ton of zombies in this format. Ooh, a rune rat. Hell block. Chump, chump check. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Um. I'm gonna play this guy to trade with his rats. Might have to play this, uh, but next turn uh, I can just play this guy. Uh, oh, never mind. Can't do that. Ooh. Now you're just somebody that I used to know. Now I need something to take care of these bats. They're going to get me. Don't get me. Bats will get me. Ah. Stupid tactics. Stupid tactics. Hey, here we go. That is good. Boom. Um. No, I want to get my desert back, so I don't want to trade. I'm play this guy next turn. Get my desert back. Then I'll get the lock down. He did not have a zombie, thank you. Attack this guy though. If you would like to trade. 
Yes. Yes, you would. I will take it. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Didn't want to attack. Good call. Now he spent his turn dealing me five if he wants. Spent all his white man on that. Okay. Cycles, plays the land. So I got my engine going. Eventually, I just throw a bunch of creatures down when he's creatureless. Yeah, deal. Those guys are zombies also, unfortunately. Doing good, doing good. He can get in for three here if he wants. Okay, that's fine. I think I have to do this. Um, because if he gets a zombie down next turn, he can get that back and play it. It's possible. Very unlikely, but still possible. Hopefully he doesn't have a haste guy. That'd be bad. Pressure him a little bit. Okay, he take, took the block. Awesome. I get a card. Probably get my desert, I'm assuming. Yep. No more value for me. Uh, Okay. So we need something here to wipe my board. Okay, that's fine. So one card left in hand, and he scoops it up. And I win a match! Hey! I won! I won, look at that. 
one. Can I show my deck? Let's just show the deck button. Anyway, so I thought the deck was pretty sweet. Some cool synergies there with the deserts and getting it back. Uh, I went one and two, but we still had fun, right? Tell me what you think. Where'd I make the mistakes? What could I do better? What can I draft? See you next time.